I didn't like snakes. I didn't like that kind of stuff. <laughs> so like he would bring in snakes. snakes into our house and he'd put it in like a tote, like a yeah. plastic tote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, so I'd go in, walk into his room and I'd be like, what's this? And I'd pick, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> and then one time he had a, a ferret. He snuck a ferret. Now he had a, a bedroom and then he had a big kind of walk-in closet behind the the bedroom. And he put his ferret in this walk-in closet in this huge cage. And I was like, what's that smell? <laughs> Something <laughs> smells funny. I mean, ferrets have a smell. Yeah, they do. And so I was walking like in the living room and then I walked into well, the room and I'm like, clean. what is that smell? And I go into his closet and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? He snuck into his room this huge How did he do that without you seeing it? I was like, what? What are you doing? Okay, but ferrets are kind of awesome. Okay, he loved ferrets. But, like, kids love ferrets. But you got to take care of and them. And they actually had, like, hedgehogs and all kinds of things. Yeah. But I was not in a place where I could be okay with ferrets. I mean... We had too much going on. And to have a ferret in the house uh, and that stunk up the house. Because he wasn't cleaning the cage. No. And ferrets have smell. They have a smell. If they don't have their little little glands removed, they stink. Oh, really? And so, yeah, this was a stinky ferret. (laughs) And I didn't know much about ferrets. And I was just like, yeah, you got to get rid of this ferret. because And this snake, too, because that freaks me out. So the poor guy, he loves animals, and he has so many animals. He has rescue animals. He's he's an adult now. He can do all that kind of stuff that he wants. For me, as a single mother of five kids and having that, I just was, I didn't know enough about animals, you know. So I was kind of like, oh, my gosh, this is freaky. And I don't like snakes and spiders. and I don't like spiders and snakes. I, I like but snakes. But that ain't what it takes to, to love, love me like Ooh, I want to be loved by you. <laughs> I actually anyway, like snakes. We, I grew yeah, up around them. I'm not a snake person. We but. used to send gopher snakes down the gopher holes to get out the gophers, and the gophers would come out, and then we just watch the fight. Real? Oh, yeah, that's how we'd take care of gophers back then. <laughs> and that's why they're called gopher snakes. You just take what your gopher. What kind of snake was it? A gopher snake. So there's a literal snake that's called a, a gopher, gopher snake. snake. Yes. And you put it where there's you, a gopher. Yep, you put it. They'll it's go a down gopher the hole. snake. It's called a gopher snake. You've never heard of gopher no. snake? I've never heard of oh gopher snake. Oh, my gosh. I must yes. be very... There's a literal thing like a gopher snake. They <laughs> actually kind of look a little bit like a rattlesnake without the rattles. Like they kind of have that same oh uh, black, Flat diamondy head. kind of look. Yes. And so... Oh. And they can get giant also. And so we would put them down... The holes in our backyard, because I grew up in the Mojave Desert, right? Yeah. On a farm, mm-hmm. you know, horses, cattle, everything. And so my brother had these snakes, and we would take the gopher snakes, and it was kind of like a family thing. We'd get out there, we'd put our <laughs> chairs down on the lawn, and stick. <laughs> the entertainment for the night. I'm not kidding. Neighbors would sometimes come over, and we'd oh stick gosh. the gopher snake, we'd just put him down the hole. He'd go, he'd go down the hole. Next thing you know, the next hole up, a gopher would come out, and the Whoa, snake weird. and the gopher would go at it. And the snake won 100% wow. of the time. So the gopher would be biting, the snake would wrap around him, kill him, oh and then we'd just gosh. watch him unhinge their jaw oh, and eat the geez. gopher. Ew. It didn't matter how Ew. big the gopher was. I can't handle that. Yeah, he would. Oh. And unfortunately, one time, my brother, one of my brother's gopher snakes got loose and went to our neighbor's <laughs> y- um, yard oh where they were raising rabbits. Oh. And geez. got into the rabbit cage and ate a bunch of their baby rabbits. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was really, really, really bad. Yeah, that's sad. We felt really bad about that. <laughs> I have some I have some horror stories about them. We're I have mov- some rabbit we're ma- stories. We're moving too, but... away from like from like uh, wild, wild animals, animals and going to farm animals because I can tell you some horror stories about oh. dogs and sheep and whatever. But oh let's word. not go into the horrible stuff. Yeah. Let's let's yeah. end with a really fun story. <laughs> I had this little pony. Like, we had horses. Uh, I used to ride horses all the time. I used to go down to this place called I loved riding Del Sur Garden. Too. And, uh, you know, I used to do uh, barrel racing. And I was telling Lori about mm-hmm. this one time I got to ride a bull. And the guy tied my hand in. And I couldn't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> and I was wor- oh And just God, before I fell off the bull, I finally got my hand out. Because that would have been bad. But my favorite 
story about back then is we had this little pony. His name was Little Jim. And he was... <laughs> is he the Welsh pony? He was a Welsh pony. Okay. So it wasn't the teeny tiny little Shetland like a, pony. Mm-hmm. He was a little bit bigger. Yeah. So Little Jim did <laughs> little not Jim. like to get smacked <laughs> in the butt. <laughs> Right? So, like, you know how you Who have does? To, yeah. Who likes to get smacked in the butt? I, kinda, I don't. I kind of like it. <laughs> just, just saying. No. Oh <laughs> if God. the timing's right. No. So, 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 but, you know, like, a lot of times with horses, you know, like, you train them, you have your little rein, you have your long yeah, reins, yeah. or you have your little, you know, tassel that you smack your horse in the butt. I would, we would take this horse, I would definitely, and my friends would come along, just across the street for me, like literally my driveway across the dirt road, because I lived on the dirt road, (laughs) was the desert, opened up. That's where I grew up. I grew up in the desert riding the sand dunes and stuff. And we would go out there and I'd get on there and we started out first with a little saddle till we got good. And we would just take my long reins and we would smack from side to side. Just oh, imagine going up and poor over. Little side Jim. To side to side to side. Poor little, little Jim. Jim. Just to make him buck. <laughs> and he would buck and buck and buck and buck and we would just have the best time. And then when we got good at it, we would do it bareback just to see if we could stay on. But Poor little Jim. Poor little Jim. We didn't like it at all. I know. That's kind of cruel. But I wouldn't hit him hard because he, you didn't have to, like, smack him hard. Okay. You just re- had to go back and yeah. forth, and he just did not like anything touching his butt. I remember butt. doing that with uh, horses when I was at that age, too. I mean, I had a friend who had horses, and he'd be like, kick him, and then pull the reins back and smack him with the reins. And they'd start and they'll rock, yep, yep. and it was just And like, they'd raise up. Yeah. yeah. That yep. was the thing. And we were kids. I mean, you know, what do we know? But, yeah, those poor little Jim. Poor, poor little those Jim. Those poor little horses. Anyways. Yeah. This has, been, this has been so fun talking. We just wanted to have a fun one. Talking about wild animals. Yeah. Things that people do that they don't know that they're doing. And remember, Crazy. these animals are wild. Don't think they're tame. I mean, sometimes people do things that they think these wild animals are like statues even or tame, tame animals. or you can put your child on the back of a yeah. stinking no, 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 no. buffalo or please don't do that i mean if you're going to take pictures yeah do it from the bus like you said yep. or tame animals yeah you know what i mean but oh my gosh some of these animals are wild appreciate them in nature and thank god for incredible natural animals and the habitat and all that but respect that and love Remember. the animals that you do yeah have. Yeah, and love the animals that are domesticated. That love them. Love you. Your dogs, your cats, your Ferret, horses, little Jim. Ferret. Little Jim that loves you. <laughs> and our little gopher snakes that used to live in my brother's room. <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> Creepy. Those are those are our wild animal stories. I hope you've enjoyed our oh. our trek down memory lane and our wild animal stories. So the wine review tonight, Lori went and picked out a yeah. organic one. I told her to pick out two other ones, and she just picked out what she wanted to do. Well, I, I Which is honestly perfectly fine. wanted to get a wine that had no added sulfites, that was organic, that we could try, that would be like something that was healthy. And so I thought that this wine might be a good thing to try. Well, it's called Frey. Is that what it's called? Yeah, F R E Y Frey. Frey, and it's an organic red. Does it say where and it's from? It contains only natural occurring sulfites. And again, it doesn't so, have a year, which is weird. Yeah, that is weird. Year. But for me, I don't want added sulfites. And especially as an older woman, I think those things affect my hormones, my sleep, my all that kind of stuff. Well, we're going to find out tonight if that's so, the truth. Yeah, I guess we'll find out <laughs> as I sleep whether that affects me or not. But this wine actually from, is... It's from know. California. You know what? It's not bad. The body, it's light bodied. So it doesn't have a bunch of... It, yeah. it, it's hard to like get a huge taste on your palate. It's very it, alcoholy tasting yeah. though. Yeah. I think it'd be a great wine in a sangria. It's a, so yes. if you use this wine and you put fruit and a little juice and a bunch of stuff in it, it'd probably be the perfect I wine. think it would be great. And you'd way. know that you were getting something that didn't have added anything it was a good wine for you it's a california wine but it is 
rated organic by itself it's lacking Personally. Well, b- well, because we're, we're used to things that are a mo- little more full bodied, like in and stuff. But what the first thing you notice when it hits your palate is the alcohol. Yeah, like it really is a thirteen point five percent. You know, we've had wines that have had higher or lower alcohol, yeah. but you don't taste that. This the you first can even thing, smell it. Yeah, it's the first thing. It's almost like this would be great a great wine to do a shot with. Um, so it's not, it's not that the flavor is bad. That's not what we're saying. It's It's, just that it has a different like feel. So it's not something that I would want to sit around and sip on. I would prefer to put it in like, uh, like Lori said, like a sangria. It's a great additive wine. I think it's a great wine to add to something else. So if you want to make a punch or a sangria or something like Like that, wine cooler, I think that you want to know that you have a good wine that is organic and that isn't going to cause a lot of issues yeah. that doesn't all of that stuff this is a great wine for that i don't know if sipping it by itself is actually the best way to drink this because it's pretty strong yeah some people would like that some people yeah. would like that i don't think it has a lot of flavor to be honest yeah. it's kind of flat and and taste you can taste the alcohol but if you want that in to add to something else i think it'd be a great wine exactly but in general i don't know that i drink this wine again by itself i would definitely choose it to add to something else yeah but so let's go do that know, let's yeah. go put it in a bowl of fruit with some uh which i think would be juice. great for that oh yeah let's go put it because in of the high alcohol flavoring and content i think it'd be great for oranges and strawberries mm. and all those kind of fruits that you mix into there that sounds I think great it'd, be, it'd really draw a lot of flavor out of that Alrighty, that's our wine review yeah thanks for listening talk great to you next day. time and if you have any comments about your wild animals <laughs> Go on our Facebook page. Oh my page gosh, tell us. Tell us about your wild animal stories on oh, our Facebook or Instagram. It. it would be great to hear your stories. <laughs> we will respond back. And just let us know what you think. Oh my gosh. I'm sure we're not the only ones who've had these experiences. So, hey, have a great day. And we love chatting with you and sharing our stories. So, share with us your stories. We'd appreciate it. Ciao. See you later. Everybody get up. <laughs> This has been Fit and Hippie with Dory and Lori. Until next time, make good choices. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you like our podcast, and you can find us at fitandhippie.com. That's fit in the letter in hippie. And you can find me, Lori, at mom to the nines, which is mom, the number two, the word the, the number nine, and an s.com. And you can find me, Dory, at dorymatson.com. That's D O R I Matson.com. You know, Dory the fish. <laughs> okay. Is that all of it? Yeah, I think so. Let's talk about animals. <laughs> or let's talk about sex, baby. Oh let's gosh. talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that will be every Let's time. talk about sex. How's that happen? Wana, 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 wana. One of these times we're actually going to talk about sex. And well, and the funny thing is I don't think Sean's ever even put that on our opening. <laughs> Like, nobody knows I sing that song. <laughs> that was fun. Oh, my God. So why are we drinking it? I'm not. I'm done.